It is time to start work at the Clifford home. Simon, this is Ian. G'day. Hello. Now, Ian has come in from the TAFE. He teaches painting and lead abatement, which is a big word. I don't know what that means. Uh, lead abatement basically is the um, process of removing lead-based paint safely, just containing the area. That's, that's it. Okay. And now, actually, Simon here knows quite a bit about lead safety, but do you have any other tips for him? Yes, Simon. The basic ones that we have to look at is just making sure you wear a um, good respirator, just a dust mask. Um, we need to have protective gloves on just so the, the lead paint doesn't get into your, into your nails. And then um, just some old clothes. First of all, we'll lay down the, um, the stakes so we've got a containment area. And then we'll tape these sheets in so we've got a nice little curve at the back. Okay, so I mean, what I'm doing is actually just creating a sump down the back here just to contain all the water if any um, comes down. And it just forces everything into that one point so when we're actually rolling the, the plastic up we can contain it in that one area. While we're doing this is just to stop the, um, the dust or any contaminants that we may produce while we're outside coming through and contaminating the inside of the, um, the house itself. Okay, Simon, so we're just going to put this um, garbage bag underneath where we're going to scrape. Yep, about there. Yep, that looks good. And we'll just tape him in. That way when we actually scrape it off with the water and everything, it'll just run straight into the, uh, into the garbage bag. Yep. We've got a scraper yep. and we've got some um, sugar soap in a spray bottle with some water. What I'll get you to do is actually spray it and then we'll scrape it. But we just need to put our mask on before we start. Lead paint removal should never be done in windy conditions. Even a slight breeze can carry lead dust off into your yard and surrounding areas. So Simon, with this sort of area here, we don't have flaking paints and we just want to smooth it out so we can actually just wet sand it. Mm -hmm. We've got sugar soap in the, in the water, mm -hmm. so what we'll do is use a sponge to actually wet the surface, then we'll use some wet and dry sandpaper to actually just smooth it off. And as you can see, there's no dust. And we have a towel down the bottom or some rags just to collect any sort of um, water for runoff just so that we don't contaminate anything else. Now you've done that, now we can just wipe it off with a sponge and you'll see it's as easy as that. After this kind of work, your hair, skin and clothes will be contaminated with lead dust. So it's important to make sure you shower and change before you catch up with your kids or a pregnant partner. Work gear should be washed separately to save spreading the dust to other clothes. Now tell me, what do we need to do to wrap this up? Basically we have to um, just fold the plastic on top of one another just to contain all the debris that we have in it and then we just uh, dispose of it following local counter regulations. And I see you haven't even uh, removed all of the paint. No, we only have to remove the, uh, the flaking paint. Once we've done that, we can then just encapsulate it with a good quality oil base or water based undercoat and then we can go on from there. Excellent, well I'll let you guys finish the job now. As you can see this is what this is all about, just uh, preventing the spread of lead particles that might come through dust or any debris that you create when removing old paint. And the exact same principles apply on the inside of the house, which is what we're going to do next. Go and check out some interior renovations and show you how you can do it safely. <laughs>